Hi, my name is Gary Pick, and I'm here to introduce you to Digital50.com. Digital50 is an online press network used to find consumer viewable press releases and uh, press releases uh, for media uh, professionals, the media professionals including uh, journalists, uh, publishers, uh, analysts, investors, uh, etc. The site has approximately 30,000 news releases uh, uh, posted by uh, companies across the country, uh, primarily in the United States uh, and uh, in some, uh, some surrounding countries. Uh, the site is uh, published in 64 industry standard categories listed here. Uh, by clicking on a sample category, like advertising, you're brought to a Google search results screen. This, Im this is embedded Google business search uh, results. As you can see, uh, today there was a business wire from Ireland, uh, Dublin, Ireland. If I click on that, it would take me to the actual article, and I could just read the article. I can subscribe. Uh, I'm sorry, send this uh, news item to a friend. I can print this page. If I send it to a friend, I'll be taken to a basically uh, send to a friend link, and I can type that information in there. Uh, printing the page takes you to your default printer settings. If you don't have a default printer settings, or if you don't have a printer set up, uh, you will not get that screen, or there may be an error. But um, you should have uh, you should have a printer if you have a computer. Uh, I just printed the page, and that was that simple. If I want to search for something in advertising, I would just type in my name, for instance, and search, and it would come up with different results for my name. In this case, uh, it came up with something from uh, one of our other sites, which is uh, ADN1. The If I type in uh, something else, we'll just try to type in uh, Britney Spears, uh, it will take to a most recent article uh, in which Britney Spears uh, has chosen to work with an online organization for charity. The, uh, if I click on that, it'll take me to the actual article. Again, that's from November 12th, and I can spin through that, read the article, and simply press the back key or uh, press the Digital 50 logo uh, as the home page. Um, if I want to search for general business information, uh, I can click on this, and it'll take me to uh, a general business profile section. Um, this is a separate site from Digital 50, but uh, you can uh, search over 100,000 businesses, over 30,000 organizations and associations. There's a local search for searching for local resources in your area. Uh, professional members, uh, we haven't invited uh, a lot of people to participate in that, and that's still in beta testing. We'll make uh, that more available. But there is an education network also where you can search approximately 1,400 uh, colleges and universities and find their updated uh, news uh, and websites. Um, I can submit press releases uh, by pressing this link. And, and press releases are basically submitted to the Digital 50 site uh, and distributed to users of our news RSS feeds uh, and our daily news alerts. Um, and I'll tell you about the events uh, again in a second. The uh, event submission uh, is a basic events form. Just fill it out. Go ahead. We'll, uh, once we receive that, We'll go ahead and confirm that all the, all the information is correct, possibly verify some information, and contact you and publish the events to the events section. The events section can be found in the business uh, search under events calendar, and uh, this simply lists uh, a number of events. This uh, One of the events coming up is here uh, in, it's a featured event uh, in January for uh, farmers. But you can list, uh, see a complete list of some other events that are happening across the country, and again, some international events. If I press the back key, then I will go to uh, the XML feeds. XML is, uh, is also RSS. There are RSS feeds. You can subscribe to RSS by using your browser if you have an updated or current version of uh, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, or a number of other browsers that have uh, in their recent editions, RSS capabilities. I can click on the XML feed, and that'll take me to uh, a browser screen where I can subscribe. And by subscribing to that and pressing OK, uh, it goes to my bookmarks tool folder. So if I were to go to my bookmarks and tools, it'll take me to 
the most recent articles at any time. I don't actually have to go to the site. I can just go to my bookmarks folder every day and just scroll through the most recent articles. You don't have to search. You don't have to go to the site. But say I want to uh, just thumb through and find a very quick article, I'll go to uh, Aggresso uh, if, if you are uh, familiar with that company. That will take me directly to that article and I can continue to search. Um, alerts are daily news alerts. They're one single email sent every day. The news alerts, uh, you can subscribe to any of these categories. It's free of charge. Uh, you'll never be charged. And each and every day, if I subscribe to advertising, for instance, if I enter my email address, uh, .com, add the alert, and now I will uh, it's telling me I'm already subscribed to advertising, so you won't get more than one. If you're already subscribed, you'll, you'll never get more than one, uh, and uh, you can simply click down there. Now, we do have some advertising on the site, just to, um, hopefully that doesn't distract you uh, too much, um, but we need to, uh, to provide some kind of advertising uh, revenue for the site so we can continue our, uh, our uh, operations. Now, the search key is basically adding search to your website or blog or whatever uh, uh, site you may want additional content. If you have a blog and you want to provide additional resources to your users uh, for whatever reason, uh, th that is just a simple block text that you can add into your website and provide that resource to your users. Um, and that way people don't have to actually come to our site to search for news and information. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, for the most part, uh, the site is very simple, easy to use, and we welcome any feedback or questions that you have. Uh, and enjoy using Digital 50.